hey everyone once again welcome back in the previous video we are working on our application and it's completed successfully right so now the time is to deploy this application on the server yes you listen correctly that we will deploy our application on the server so most of the instructors skip this uh, step but this is mandatory right uh, it's mandatory for those users who have who are not familiar with the server side i will explain this uh, how to deploy your uh, application on the server side right and i have also a course on the youtube that uh, how to uh, let me open the playlist of my youtube channel so this course is totally about uh, how to deploy your application on the server right uh, let me put this on the right okay <clears throat> okay so let's go here and uh, the series is this one deploy laravel app on the server so you need to watch this series where i completely explain each and everything that how you can deploy your application on the server so this is uh, about uh, uh, custom server uh, I, I mean that it's a dedicated server or you can say that these are the personal server where I'm doing these things, right? But in this video, I will uh, explain to you that how you can deploy your application on the host Tinker, which is very popular, right? And it's more reliable. Their customer support is very awesome. Everything is uh, great. Uh, their package plan is also great, right? So now uh, first I will create a subdomain and then I will deploy my application, right? okay so uh, i'm logged in into this hostinger so simply type here hostinger login now hostinger.com and then visit the login page and login the uh, login into your hosting okay just click on this uh, uh, domains right and here if you want to create a new domain so simply click on this setup main domain or uh, if you want to create the subdomain so simply click on this subdomain right okay so here i'm going to uh, create my domain uh, subdomain name right so uh, this is our reward system so i'm going to name this uh, uh, reward reward system uh, reward system dot cdl cell dot com and here you can specify your custom folder so why it's mandatory because uh, you don't want to place this into the public HTML directory, right? So we want to um, add this into a specific directory like I have added this CDL projects, CDL uh, projects, then the project name, right? So like this, you need to also mention the public directory so it will locate into the public directory. So simply click on this uh, custom folder and paste to uh, this stuff here i have this uh, directory so let me open this for you okay and uh, now let's click on this yes i want to access these save and let's close this one okay so here I have a public HTML directory, right, which contain a CDL projects directory, right, and this contains so uh, these uh, projects. And here I'm going to create a new directory, which is uh, uh, which is this one. I want to create this so reward uh, reward app. We can say that reward app. And then public why i did this public because laravel execute uh, uh, laravel uh, index file is located in this public directory right i'm referencing this thing right uh, click on this public and this one index.php is uh, inside this public directory so this is our starting our initial point right so that's why i'm mentioning this public if you didn't mention the public so you need to uh, uh, like this cdl cell.com so you need to type this public and then your domain will be open we don't want to write this public we want to just enter the domain or subdomain name and then this will be open right okay uh, here we are mentioning this uh, reward system dot to cdl cell.com right so let me close these 
apps and uh, for now it's saying that this site can't be reached because we have not created this yet now okay uh, let's go here and now i'm going to now create this you know, revolved app public and yes everything is fine okay click on this create now okay it's now created right so this one it's locating this uh, reward system right so if i give it a refresh it will add a default page here uh, refresh uh, still it's not to uh, reachable if i go here reward system dot cdl cell maybe i no uh, it's uh, not containing the not loading the default file no problem we'll fix the issue here we have a reward app in the reward app we have our default to uh, dot php and uh, this one is uh, not working maybe due to php version so how you can confirm that what's your php version so let's go here and here we have security and domains website account uh, advance and php configuration or you can click on this php info okay and here i'm going to basically check that what's the php version uh, okay it's 8.1 and uh, level 10 will work on the 8.1 and 8.2 right so 8.1.6 that's awesome our version is correct so why it's not working so we'll fix the issue in a minute uh, this one is default page and here reward app this should be work I maybe this one is uh, cached so if i go ahead and open this into the incognito and uh, no this is still not working okay let's fix this uh, issue cdl project so let me verify the domain uh, and the domains oh my god we have added the wrong no it's correct cdlcell.com slash public html then cdl projects then a reward app and the reward app we have a public directory it should work why it's not working uh, here we have a public directory and the default.pp we have this one right so let me uh, here add a word dump or php statement okay this one will be word dump hello because we are running the php not the laravel can then simply call the die helper here okay and then save this one give it a refresh and uh, still it's not working weird stuff okay let me confirm these things almost uh, i created this too many times and it's working without any error but it's now creating some issues now so let me debug it that what's the issue slash home slash domain slash uh, cdlcell.com okay public html then cdl projects okay a reward app and then there is a public directory okay and this one is correct here reward in the cdl projects we have a reward app which contain the public directory and our path is everything is working correctly okay so why it's not working here okay if i go and open the some my other domain to check that i know uh, it's working and by the way if you are uh, if you are not familiar with this uh, our website it's totally about to uh, where you can post your queries for example you are facing an issue in the development project in the phase of development you can post your uh, queries here so i will answer these uh, our team will basically answer this within 24 hours right 
and uh, here you can also uh, check your uh, project status is it answered by cdl solved uh, and these things and here simply go ahead and click on this uh, share problem button then logged in uh, share uh, a problem button and then you need to log in or register yourself and then you can post your uh, problem here and our team will respond to you okay uh, let's close this one and uh, here our uh, this application is working fine okay so let me debug this why it's not working and then i'm coming back hey everyone i'm returned back without any error uh, basically this is uh, not an error uh, this is caching issue if i uh, when i visit the microsoft edge and i pasted my domain it's worked successfully so then i close these uh, application tabs where i open this uh, reward system dot com and it's uh, working as uh, perfectly right and here this one is all identical process there is our default uh, file inside this reward and i have not changed anything uh, into the domain name or its path or its directory right so everything is working fine so here i'm going to now delete this uh, uh, directory right and here i'm going to upload my uh, file right okay uh, so just click on this uh, upload and here i'm not going to choose this folder because i want to convert this into a zip file and upload this zip file okay and you can also make sure if you are uh, deploying it on the different servers you need to make sure that your server accept the um, uh, valid files type like dot zip file dot tor file and like this okay let's go to the navigate to the reward system directory this one is our application and here you need to create the zip file and remember uh, whenever you are uh, creating a zip file so you don't need to create this outside of uh, uh, from this project right so you need to go inside of this uh, application uh, root directory and then you need to uh, just click on and click this and click on this uh, here add to all key and click on this zip and press this ok so it will uh, create a zip file for us right but i have already created this uh, zip file before some minutes ago i'm not going to do this right now okay and here you need to why you need to uh, create the zip from inside uh, of this root directory because uh, whenever you will deploy this on your server so you don't need to extract the information then go to the directory copy all of the stuff and then go back and paste the stuff there right so you need to you can save your time from this step and you can also save this from headache okay and just go to the reward system uh, here this one and i'm going to now select this file and click on this open so here this will now uh, upload our file right okay and uh, here uh, it's uh, very faster they are using ssd so you don't need to worry about your project okay just click on this and uh, now just open the website stuff right i'm going to create the a website stuff so let me check the video size i think it's going bigger but let me uh, create the database here and then we'll talk about other things later okay let's click on this uh, um, management right and open it here and create a new database here right so our application is reward app so simply go here and name this uh, reward app right i'm going to name this uh, same right okay and here you need to generate the password so simply generate this password like this so this one is a, a random password generator so you can generate the secure password right okay uh, you can choose whatever you like okay i'm copying this and simply click on this create and here i'm going to save this into the notepad i don't want to lose my clipboard value so that's why i just did it uh, here okay this one is now created uh, revolved app and if i go ahead and click on this enter in php my admin so this will be opened into the php my admin and by the way i have installed this uh, uh, 2020 in its extension here so it will allow us to uh, basically it will allow us to um, uh, give a break and then um, we need to see around to uh, some object which is 20 
which are uh, far from you and then it will relax you you need to stand up from your chair and then spend some time a uh, few minutes uh, out of the screen and then came back right so this is basically for to not to uh, uh, to not to um, your eye affected so if you want to uh, if you are curious about your eyes eyes so you can use any of the protection or uh, you can use this 20-20 uh, minute extension to uh, avoid any problems okay so here this one is our database and we have opened this into the view tab right so the one way is we can uh, create this uh, application here and we can export our this database and import this right but i will teach you both ways how you can export this and import this into the database and how you can uh, do this without importing exporting so i will do i uh, will explain you both of the steps so simply click on this reward this one is our local database of reward system i'm going to uh, and uh, remember just click on this reward system right and not any of the uh, tables it will only uh, export the table click on this export and export and yes reward system dot sql is now here right okay and uh, i'm going to now import this here so simply click on it right and then click on this import and here choose a file okay simply go here in the downloads and choose this file click on this go okay and yes this one is now successfully imported with all of our users uh, all of our out of stock availability notification products and something like this okay so now let's move here and this one is still uploading our database uh, not the database it's uploading our project right so we need to wait for a few moments to complete this process and uh, I think I need to shoot this in the next video. I will uh, convert this uh, CD, uh, convert this part into the two sections. The first one is about to how to uh, create the domains, how to create the database, and how to apply this application. And then I will uh, teach you that how to extract this project, how to uh, run different commands in your project without SSH access. Right. So in this way, you will learn a lot to. Uh, with the live environment with all of the things uh, like uh, most of the instructor teach you one way so i'm going to teach you multiple ways to survive in your career and uh, if you want to support me on my mission to shoot a premium course uh, without any cost subscribe this channel and share it with your friends i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys